Hello, I'm Ken Eklund, Director for Technology for Moore County Schools. I'd like to present today about a technology infrastructure budget request, our challenges, our funding sources, and what we need to meet those challenges. Our funding sources related to infrastructure for fiscal year 2020 include E-rate funds. They cover our Category 1 services, which is primarily WAN services, that's the connections between the schools to our data center and the internet, and Category 2, which are used to cover infrastructure costs. That's $1.3 million, which is spread out over five years. This requires more county schools to use $600,000 total in district funds. Fiscal year 20 is the end of our current five-year budget cycle. While we've been able to leverage funds to meet some of the infrastructure requests, we have approximately $560,000 remaining in E-rate funds. If we do not use those funds, we will lose them. They require $258,000 in Moore County Schools expenditure to, meet, to use those funds. We also have state funding sources, $94,000 in PRC 079, which covers our WAN service costs, PRC 015, $175,000, which is money from fines and forfeitures. That's an estimated dollar figure that varies from year to year, and that's generally used for general technology needs. $87,000 for ESSA Title IV funds, which are targeted to specific programs. Moore County Schools uses those for the student hotspots, for bus Wi-Fi programs, and for some communication systems costs. Local funds for digital learning are, are directed more towards covering digital learning costs and are not directly related to infrastructure needs. We've presented this information to the Moore County Schools Board before. Updates from our previous presentation is that we have adjusted infrastructure costs to reflect latest pricing. We've moved some to wireless technology in some of the schools, which reduces the physical infrastructure need. We've also scheduled, scheduling our upgrades around a sustainable allotment cycle. The typically technology lasts three to five years and we need to do our refresh planning around that allotment cycle. We've also added uninterruptible power supplies to these costs. These are needed because we have so much technology that is now connected to the network, such as phone systems and security camera systems, and we can't have those systems going down just with minor power fluctuations in the schools. All of our current un uninterruptible power supply systems are also end of life. We also have staffing need due to the technology department taking on all these network connected systems, including voice over IP phones, our video security systems to cover security needs in the, in the schools, and also new access control systems. The technology department as a whole supports a lot of needs in Moore County Schools. These include infrastructure for digital learning, our network and infrastructure security, our web hosting and district notification systems in coordination with the communications department, mobile phones, voice over IP phones, district and school admin computer refreshes, Fall at Destiny, which covers our library and resource manager systems, infrastructural software, our Google Apps, Canvas Learning Management System, Discovery Education, and other software systems, all of our operational technology, including support for finance, human resources, and transportation, and video security systems, our cameras, and our servers, with, which are now network-based. It's important to remember the need and the challenge related to infrastructure. Our need is to maintain a reliable network. The di digital learning cannot happen without functioning in infrastructure. This is how students access the base content and curriculum. Other services using the network are also growing. Voice over IP phones, our IP-based security cameras, and building automation, HVAC, and access controls. The challenge we face is that we are at facing end of life on our existing infrastructure. End of life means no support or warranty replacement. 31.5% of our network switches are already end of life. 76% of our wireless access points are end of life by 2020 and also currently lack support for updated wireless standards, which affects the speed and reliability of the wireless network in the schools. As you can see from this slide, our infrastructure refresh plan calls for us to do significant refreshes in fiscal year 2020. You'll see that for the last several years, several 
a majority of our schools have infrastructure that is either under warranty but not supporting current standards or is already end of life. That's represented by the yellow and the red boxes. The dark green represents refreshes of this infrastructure and light green represents infrastructure that is currently under support. You can see the significant number of schools that are due for refresh in this year. If we do not refresh this technology, you can see what happens to the state of our infrastructure throughout the district. The circled year is the year that we are approaching. If we do not do this infrastructure project, the majority of our school infrastructure will go end of life, which again means no support, no warranty replacements, and continued issues with reliability. If we continue to not address this need, you can see that more and more of the network goes end of life and we reach a state where we cannot rely on available infrastructure for operations and instruction. Our long-term refresh plan provides for a refresh in fiscal year 20, and then again, a, a refresh in fiscal year 2024 20, and fiscal year 25. This aligns with a four to five year refresh cycle for network infrastructure. This also aligns with the E-rate five year funding cycle. Our infrastructure cost for fiscal year 20 refresh includes switches at $684,000, our wireless needs at $226,000, our UPSs at $202,000, and our support and licenses. That's required for the software support and also implementation support for such a large refresh project at $188,000. This leads to a total need of $1.3 million. Our E-rate funding of $557,000 will cover a large portion of that. And I, again, I remind you all that if we do not do this refresh in this five-year E-rate cycle, that is, do this refresh in fiscal year 20, we will lose the entire $557,000 that E-rate provides. This leads to a final budget request of $744,000 to meet this infrastructure need. We also have staffing needs. Because of the increased role of technology for operations in the district, especially voice over IP phones, our security camera systems needed to, to make sure that our schools are secure, we are proposing an infrastructure technician position. This position will focus on supporting network connected phones, our security cameras, and all related systems, and also supporting this refresh. This yearly budget need is approximately $60,000, and this is included in our finance department staffing priorities. I hope this covers all the information needed to support this budget request. As you can see, we are facing a significant challenge with end of life equipment in the district. We cannot expect instruction and operations to be reliable and always available to our students, teachers, and staff without addressing this need. Thank you.